Mina talks about that. Yeah, we just yeah. found a little bit of Gumby Gumby. Gumby Gumby, yeah. All right, so down by the river, Aunty Sandy. Hi there, how are you? Uh, what a beautiful spot. Um, actually, we've just come from a 101 Bedrock Road, uh, not far from here. Um, now, why I'm challenging Earl uh, Salzone, who was the director of SA Plan PTY Limited, where not only myself but put money in to be a director of the uh, 75 acres, but also included in that is the Dark Sky Reserve. Um, and I knew it was an offence for the council to buy any property because they're using uh, taxpayers' money. So when I investigated and did gave a notice to Simone Bailey, the, uh, the new mayor, um, I was telling her about the fraudulent action relating to Earl Sozan as director. And then also finding out it wasn't another property that they purchased, it was an international reserve. So the plot thickens. <laughs> and um, so that's uh, part of my life, I think, actually. But um, I have so much evidence um, relating to Earl. And the more that I've heard about her, the more that I know I have to pursue this, um, this fraudulent uh, event with this property and why now that I've joined up with uh, uh, Mina under the Crows which is the um, cultural restoration of women's services I've found an, a plan uh, because my great-granddad's on the uh, native title uh, right along the Coorong but also because I'm Ghana with um, uh, grandmother uh, Mina there's a way now that the corruption that has happened since colonisation where our people have been paid off. Now this is all around Australia. It was the divide and conquer. So this, this story is enough about 101 Bedrock Road. We went out today to visit and um, my action now is against um, Earl personally because when I retired and sold my place at Manura, I put 10,000 in to become a shareholder for the property with other shareholders, okay? And so um, through that, I've got the, all the evidence and she's labelled me as uh, um, Sandy Ross um, uh, funds. No shareholders, 10,000 funds. And I've found out that with that money, she has paid mortgage and possibly council rates. I don't know, but I know that it's against the international law for my private membership association, PMA, that is against the law. So I'm actually charging her with fraudulent um, uh, dealings with my money without my um, uh, consent. That's number one. Also, while I'm uh, going there to um, I've sold my place, so I'm looking for a place of retirement. I had spoken to a verbally contract regarding uh, uh, homeschooling with her kids and also the people on the property living there um, the, and their children. And also education regarding my Warren PMA which is my two books which are gazetted within the South Australian libraries, part of our history. Okay, so that gives me a, quick, a fair bit of power because I can challenge and I have got court cases against uh, the police, DCP and the courts because of a fine that I actually chose to um, challenge and won. So I can get the information from that court and I've also sent um, other information uh, regarding uh, the evidence uh, through affidavits. So I'm, I'm putting this out there now, Earl, I'm sorry, you have crossed the line. There was, um, you have put trauma, not in, only to all the shareholders, but to the family on the farm, even to the extent the, the woman lost her baby mm -hmm. through the pressure and how you went on that property and let the water out of the tank and took the power off the, the, the fridge so that food and water was with, uh, they were out as a family. That's a, a very, very serious crime. 
So Earl Salson, I'm telling you now, I will find you, you will be getting a notice from the grandmother's law. We are also giving notices to, again, another one to the council, Mid Murray Council, because I will not only be going in grandmother's law with this, but it'll also be the Dark Sky um, International Reserve, where uh, there's no bill of sale. The, the uh, farmer that had that land uh, was absolutely ruined with uh, cattle, 6,000 acres. So my proposal was to have it as a sustainable area where people who love the land, indigenous and non-indigenous, can then start working the land and looking up after it. Um, that's the way that it should be. So anyway, that should be a, a nice little reel for everybody to put out there or a, a podcast. I don't care where it goes, but this is serious. So this next week, uh, Grandmother Minna and myself will be dealing this um, in geographic areas, claiming grandmother's law um, and uh, this will give peace and harmony to families without the um, effects of the patriarchal ruling over and enslaving people um, with propositions and business plans like this fraudulent one. Okay, thanks. Nakan? Thank you.